in time. What started out as a school project on Long Island has turned into something much bigger. A group of Malvern High School students are on a mission to rename a street honoring a village developer who was also a local leader of the Ku Klux Klan. All right, Judy Goldberg shows us how they have set out to make change. I personally moved here because it was a diverse community. But Melissa Alvarez says she's constantly reminded of racism and exclusion. Each time she passes Lidner Place, just steps away from her home in Malvern. The street was named after developer and Ku Klux Klan leader Paul Lidner back in the early 1900s. We see the name Paul Lidner as a representation of a lot of hatred and discrimination. Advocates of all ages are offering to help pay to rename Lidner Place that's home to a library, school, and church saying a street named after a KKK leader isn't an accurate representation of the village and its values. He was not the leader of the Boy Scouts. He was the leader of the KKK who hated not only black people, but Catholics, Jews, all immigrants and people of color. That should be enough to want to change the name. While Lidner in his early life tried to do good for the village, historian Don Pupke says he was involved in cross burnings and other acts of intimidation. We don't want the head of the Ku Klux Klan to have a street name for him in Malvern. Changing the name of the street comes with opposition. Many people on social media suggest leaving it alone, saying, quote, history is not yours to erase. It's here for you to learn from. The mayor, for his part, was unavailable for an on-camera interview, but says he's open to receiving information about the issue and learning more. It's very easy to leave history alone, but we need to address it and learn from it. The committee pushing to change the name of the street is set to go before the village board at a meeting next week. While it's unlikely a decision will be made, they're hoping it's one step closer to reaching their goal. I'm here, you know, for the long haul. And if this takes years, I will stick with it for years. In Malvern, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.